What's going on everybody? Brian here from Brian's Broadcast. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a first impression of Zaharov's brand new release which is called Zaharov Signature Bloom. Now this fragrance is all about florals and if you know me personally I'm not too much into floral fragrances but then again there are exceptions. Let's find out what this is all about and for full disclaimer this package was sent to me as a gift from George Zaharov himself but Guys, those of you who have been following my channel, you know, if it's a gift, it's only a gift. It's not going to bias my thoughts or observations, right? So this is only the first impression unboxing. So stay tuned. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like contents like these. And I'm about to find out firsthand what it's all about. Let me know in the comments, those of you who have tried it and you feel this is a beautiful fragrance so let me just quickly show you the packaging looks really nice it's got some like textured wow like so that box is not just print it's a whole different origami kind of thing the bottle looks beautiful with that white cap and it's got some flowers floral thing going on the background beautiful bottle i must say like this is the first time i'm getting a white cap bottle from saharov that's the box inside nice 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 so on the top you've got gardenia coconut and ja star jasmine on the mids you've got amber arabian jasmine egyptian jasmine orange blossom red peony so there's a lot of florals going on different types of jasmine so each one probably has its own characteristic smell and on the base you've got sandalwood vanilla bourbon or bourbon vanilla whatever you call it oud sugar cane wow that's interesting white jasmine ylang ylang myrrh and olibinum tears there's a lot of resins and florals going on i have a feeling this fragrance will have a lot of depth and character but then again it's only my first impression so i'll just see what happens this is my handy dandy tester strip so just checking no leakage yep right let's go moment of truth it's very fresh and uplifting i must say that the florals feel like in layers coconut is not as pronounced but it does have that creamy kind of coconut vibe not one of your suntan kind of feel but the actual coconut flesh like the real flesh the creamy one has this nice green undertone to it got that beautiful sweetness as if like if you're eating that like semi soft coconut flesh if you understand what i'm talking about not the too soft one not the hard one so somewhere in the middle it's got that slight bite to it but it's not completely hardened yet that kind of flesh and it's juicy and you get that sweetness from it the water and the flesh that kind of a sweetness coming through with the florals playing now this one doesn't feel too feminine leaning it's mostly unisex i would say it leans slightly feminine but not too much perfect for like hot uh, hot and humid days up front i can tell you right away great stuff i'm gonna go on skin right now oh man certainly something that's very gonna be very enjoyable yeah some kind of a spiciness coming through mer oud definitely i mean these are not too pronounced these are acting as background notes but i'll i'll know about the whole story once i've done full wearings and do my full review of course like the oud kind of feels like there's some kind of a darkness like a tad bit tiny tad bit of smokiness and i believe that's being toned down and tamed actually by the sandalwood and the vanilla that's how like the creamy sweetness coming through it's not overly creamy though just the right amount kind of has that mild fresh woodiness like the green wood like you know like it's not one of your dry wood it's like freshly peeled bark or something it smells very nice i mean on skin this is like a whole different thing like on paper it smelled in one way but on skin, it's 
very different. That's amazing. Like that's what I love about about some of the fragrances that come out. And once you spray on paper and on skin, they're very different. So that's the skin is the main one because on paper it's a different thing. On skin, it the fragrance oils, the aroma chemicals, and everything they react with your body chemistry and give out that distinct smell. This is good. This is actually good. So guys, that was my honest first impression and unboxing of Zaharov Signature Bloom, a beautiful floral fragrance. Kudos, George, my God. You are producing some of like the very nicer and finer fragrances. I'm just really excited about your preview line. Just know that I'm really, really excited about it. So guys, that was my take on Bloom from Zaharov, that's a 2024 release focused mainly on florals and they have done a great job. Does not feel overly feminine, maybe slightly because there's so much of florals, but trust me, this one feels very, very unisex. And at least on skin, smells amazing. Like has this really, really nice vibe about it. So guys, until the next one, please take care, stay safe, and don't forget to subscribe. All the best.